Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about hobby projects. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I would love you for you to elaborate more on uh, hobby projects. You have said that demo sites are not as marketable on your CV as proper applications. What in your opinion would carry more weight? One, a more kind of full stack approach on some application with some real world value, kind of a jack of all trades, master of none type of person. Picking a niche and sticking to it, for example, say becoming really good with Next.js and learning the concepts of serverless really well, then use and then use that to build something with more real world value. Well, this very much depends on. It depends on what your goal is. It depends on your role. Because the thing is, like you, you I don't want to n s narrow the scope to this thing. I'm going to tell you just being about the concrete examples that the subscriber was posting. Because I think we're going to. I'm going to try to give you my thoughts on this as much as humanly possible. But I also want you to understand a bigger picture and kind of because otherwise, this if there is a lesson in all of the talking I do. I would like this thing to be the thing that you actually take away from it. So the first thing you need to understand is that there is no real answer to this question is should you specialize or should you be a generalist because it very much depends on what you're looking to do. An example would be if you want to be a very flexible developer in say the web space well then a full stack developer is going to probably be the best probably be the best thing for you. But at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean that just if you specialize in one specific thing, that that's going to be that that's going to yield you results where you are better than someone who is a full stack developer. I've touched on this before. I understand that this idea that if you just focus on one thing, that you're going to be better than someone who focuses on focuses on two or three things. Uh, that this idea is popular, but it's not true. It's not true at all. You have no guarantees that just because you focus on one specific thing that you're going to be better at that thing at than if you were to be a little bit more diverse. The only thing that you can promise is that you're going to put on put more time towards that thing. But of course, the uh, the the common thing is that seems very reasonable can also be true that if you just specialize in one thing, you're going to get really good at that thing. But then we also have to think about what is the value in that thing. What is the value in being a specialist? Well, if you're a specialist with in something <coughs> that is high value, I know if we're just excluding now personal matters, we're talking from the perspective of a professional now. If it's high value, then yes, you're going to be able to get work and you're going to make a lot of money most likely. But what if you pick something that is not? in such high demand or where you niche yourself to the point where you're pretty much not like you're, you're good at that one thing but nobody really cares about the fact that you're just good at that one thing i'll give you a concrete example if you master css and only css that's going to be pretty much useless to the vast majority of you because nobody is on average going to hire someone who only does the css you're going to have to be a little bit more diverse than that. Now, on the flip side of things, if you become a full stack developer, or let's say that you make the common mistake that a lot of people make, which is to try to master everything at the same time. You try to you spend like what a few hours on a tool, and then you set that, put that on your CV, and you do that a hundred times, and now you have a hundred tools. Where if I, but if I ask you to build something with just a few of those tools, you won't be able to do it not as readily at the very least as one would expect from someone who's actually really learned something. So that is why this is such a tricky question to answer because it really does come down to what your goal is, what do you want to achieve? Because if you want to be say now in this case it's a web developer. So if you want to showcase that you are a strong web developer, well there are many ways for you to do that. A full stack application and building a real world application is a very good way of doing that, but it's not the only way. 
there are many ways that you could showcase it in a different fashion. Let's say that you wanted to be a backend developer. Well, you can still create a real world application because he, the subscriber in question touches on something that I think is important. Make real things, like make real stuff, stuff that is intended to be used. Toys are great and it's something like, like demo applications and stuff like that, that's great. But if you can make something real, that's usually the best thing for you. And I mean, one thing that you could do is to, as a backend developer, if you wanted to stand out, is to create an API, a publicly available API. Let's say there, there's tons of these APIs. Let's say that, I don't know, create a, uh, a uh, API that support, supplies some type of data or like you could just be a database basically where you can query or whatever. Like it's a, it doesn't ne even need a UI more than of course like the presentation site where you can see, okay, this is how you consume that API if you wanted to. That would be a way for you to showcase that you're a good backend developer. But on the flip side, if you wanted to just be a frontend developer, well, then you can just make the UI. You could basically create a static website and host that on a bucket, like an Amazon bucket or well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you host it. You can just put it up on a CDN or whatever. Like, there's tons of these ways that you can showcase that you're good at a specific thing as well. Uh, the thing though, in this in this specific scenario, you mentioned that you could focus on something like being really good at Next.js. Well, just learning Next.js, depending on how you define that, that's not going to help you. Because that framework in of itself, even though you might learn it, is not... Uh, some people like people are looking for people who are good with Next.js, but that doesn't mean that you can skip things like learning how HTTP works, learning how JSON works, learning how Git works. Like there's so many other things to learn. So it really comes down to how do you define being a specialist, and then for example stating that oh yeah I'm going to learn serverless and get really good at that. Once again depends on what you're looking for because I can tell you right now that the norm is not to use serverless. Most companies don't use serverless. There are companies who are doing it, but they are like there's that's a portion, just a small portion of the total uh, avail uh, available jobs that are open to you. So what I really want you to understand is that you have to if you want to be effective at positioning your hobby projects or like ma making them something like if you want to tailor them towards some type of goal you need to understand what that goal is and you need to understand what the what the role that you're trying to apply for is required to know because that way you can communicate effectively as an example if you wanted to be a C++ developer it would be a really weird thing if your portfolio just contained a bunch of JavaScript uh, web applications in that sort of scenario, it would be much more effective for you to make CLIs or libraries that do, do something within the language or in the system space or so forth. So I hope that I can make you understand that there is no way for me to answer this question, whether you should be a jack of all trades or you should be a specialist, because it completely depends on what are you trying to achieve. Are you trying to get a job as at like a... I don't know, on a graphics engine uh, or something like that, or are you trying to just get a work, get work as a dirty old web applicator, a web, web application developer like me? Depending on what you want to do, the answer is going to differ. So what I want you to take away from this is that the best tip I can get uh, give you for what type of projects, uh, hobby projects that you should strive for is that you need to understand what your end goal is. If your end goal is to be a games developer, well then working with games is probably a good idea. If your end goal is to be a web application developer, just a like a full stack developer, well then full stack applications is the thing to do uh, to make. Backend developers, well then probably in the web space, well then probably APIs or some type of similar so solution is a good idea. And front end and so forth, you, uh, th this is the thing, you need to understand what you're trying to do and if you're trying to get a job what are the things that that person who's doing that job talk to other professionals what are they using what are they doing and try to create projects that leverages the same sort of tooling and practices that they are using when they're doing that job getting yourself a bit of a mentor who can talk to you and like, who, or who has a role that is similar to the thing that you want to to do is a very good investment and if you have no idea whatsoever what to make or like what you want to do in, with your uh, with your career as a software developer then sim then it doesn't really matter what you pick then pick build literally anything that seems interesting and just showcase it because at the end of the day what will ma it's of course great 
if you can make things that are really, really well relevant to the roles that you want to apply for. But just anything, like literally anything that showcases that you are a passionate developer who really cares about your profession is going to be a bo bone. Uh, it's going to be a boon to your CV. So don't, uh, don't, don't, don't overthink this so much. Make things, make them public. They just, just build. I promise you that is going to be the best start for you. Have a great day.